Fly Eagles. <laughs> Fly. We got listen, y'all. Oh, ah, ah. yeah. <laughs> oh man. I, I honestly, real talk, I never in my wildest dreams would have thought we'd be on three. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, two and one. Yeah, you know right. I never thought in my wildest dreams. And the one will be with Ty with Cincinnati. If anything, I, I would have thought a Ty with the Rams or even Washington since they're a division team. But I'd have never thought we'd be 0 2 and 1 and feeling like it's 0 3. With that being said, with that being said, we still in it because Dallas is not good, Washington is not good, and New York is not good. So technically speaking, we still in it and we playing a wounded. 49ers team. I think somebody said they got like 11 or 13. Yo, right, don't, don't, don't do that. I'm just, I'm, that. Just, I'm just putting it out. I'm you not want, you want to talk about somebody else's injuries? I, I'm, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that. Never mind. <laughs> We're going to lose. End the, end the podcast. Let's go back to the basketball. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We lost. <laughs> move on to week four. We, let's move on to week five. <laughs> All right, so here, here's my here's my thing. Before we um, I didn't mean to disrupt you, but I just uh, that that injury part. <laughs> I just no slag there. Before we jump on to week four, just to go back to week three. No, I don't want to do that. Go are y'all still are you still comfortable with the decision that um Doug made to go for the tie instead of the win? At the end of last week's game, after you got a chance. No, to... you mean when he went for the punt instead of going for the fourth down conversion? Yeah, that's yeah. Are we nah, okay? He, he should have went for it on fourth down. You still say he should have went for it? Yeah. Because I'm still I'm satisfied with the decision. I'm satisfied yeah. with the punt. I mean, what? what, what you mean? What's the worst that can happen? A pick six? Yeah, with Carson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to agree with that part. Oh, 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 me either. Yes. 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 Carson, if y'all listen, if you listen, my fault. I, I didn't do that. <laughs> no, but I, I, I like the punt. I, I, I mean, four for nineteen. Carson wasn't sharp. The receivers we got out there is, is I mean, what are they? You know what I'm saying he wasn't. I'm not, listen. Y'all act like I'm, I'm defending every pass he made. He wasn't. <laughs> he wasn't sharp. He wasn't, he wasn't sharp. sharp. But you go for a four for nineteen. Obviously, you can't kick the field goal. It's, I think it was four for twelve. That's an impossible field goal. Now I think we backed up like to like nineteen yards or something, wasn't it? It was and like then, four for nineteen. And remember, that's fourth down, so the the clock automatically stops right there. Remember, so they they're gonna get that time right there. Then all you gotta do is work the sidelines, and then you right in field goal range. I'd have rather lost that game than sit through that trash. I mean, yeah. it, you it's, asking me in hindsight. It's easy to say you now. You asking me in hindsight. In hindsight, I would have rather lost in regulation than watch that trash. Overtime. Yeah, but I mean, it's easy to say now, but that that tie and that's a, a, a loss would have hurt us more than a tie. You know, in, in the standings, that tie actually helps you more. Man, than I don't loss. care I mean, about these things. Exactly. You will. You will. Hope, when hope, we, you will. I when hope we, they cancel when we the end, season. When we the end, ten five and one, that's we gonna end the season. <laughs> ten five and one. And See, the I'm Cowboys going to be nine I'm, and seven. And we're going to win the division. I'm not that optimistic. I think we can actually win. <laughs> I think we actually win the division at nine and seven, eight and eight this year. Remember that year? I, remember that, that year? Nine, when, six and when, one. Was who was it? What was it? Was yeah. the NFC South and one of them teams won with like seven a and nine. seven and nine record? That's what it's going to be on the NFC. Was it that the team? See, was that the year Marshawn Lynch had that crazy run? I don't know, I, but I think that's the year. I think that's. I think. I think it was. Tim go. go listen. You gotta tell people stuff, man. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm sitting there thinking my computer crashed. Somebody explain to me what's wrong with JJ Sega Whiteside that he that how his calf get hurt. Well, let me just introduce this. Um, what right now what we're doing is we looking as of today, the Thursday. This is the injury report that the Eagles released today, and so this is what um, Carson Wentz is dealing him, with. Him. Avante Max, the little dude hurt already, huh? So right now, well, JJ. I said something about a little body dude out there hitting people. <laughs> well, Are y'all concerned with this injury I, report? I told y'all we should have kept Rasul Douglas. I agree. He's, I, the, I, temp, I, I, he's I, the tenth rated corner in the league right now. I, I, I like. Oh, I, I like Rasul. I, I always like Rasul. The Wayne was hating on Rasul. Yeah, no, Wayne, no, you ain't like him. When did I hate on Rasul? No, you know who was hating on him? Everybody in the other board I'm on. 
uh, I'm about to say my whole thing. I, I, I only thing I said, up. only thing wrong with Rasul was he didn't have that breakaway speed, but his coverage was nice. And in the red zone, he was that top notch. Now, is, is, it, is it something about this illness everybody got? Yeah, he what does illness, illness mean? I don't understand it. They got the Rona. They got my mind the Rona. I can't stand Jason Peters no more, man. Anymore, man. Don't I, do that. He's old. Man. You get he's 38 years then old he playing, be playing a, a man. tackle position. The Eagles should have first out. of all. I'm gonna tell y'all, take that down, Tim. I need to see my face a little bigger. No, please don't. <laughs> this is where Howie Roseman went wrong, and, and, and I'm gonna say it for drafting the ball in the second round for a quarterback when he know we needed help help on the offensive line. You know we need help at the offensive line in the no, skill but, position. But, no, but help your quarterback. He drafted offensive linemen. They just was trash. He got hurt. The, the he, got couple, line got hurt. he got a couple of offensive linemen that they brought in. That's what I said. Y'all can't hate on how we. No, older. Offensive line no, is older. Who? The young boy that they who? got, the boy that was supposed to start over there. Dillard got hurt. Dillard's not old. Why don't you look at the age of offensive linemen? Dillard is older. Old. They're all Bro older. Brandon, what's his name? Brooks got, we got two young but, offensive man. line that got hurt. But to Ethan point, we need an offensive line. We need a linebackers. We need a wide draft that, but that I don't think that that necessarily goes to them drafting like what he's saying about drafting in that second round. Brandon Brooks, is, thirty-one. They just can't draft. They just don't draft good. They didn't draft well, I should say. I mean, that's speak proper English. I mean, that's true too. But you stand a higher chance. Well, not the Eagles. The that's Eagles what I'm saying. Higher, but I mean, it's still it was still other needs that was pressing. Quarterback, I guess, it, in a lot of people's mind, wasn't the most pressing need. Maybe Tim. Thinks that we need a new quarterback, Absolutely. but and most people wasn't the pressing need. You still had linebackers, you still had offensive line, you still need a wide receivers. Um, you could have used another safety too because I mean, who's that sure? You first of all, you was putting Mills from his corner of safety for the first year. Who was positive that that was even going to work out? You know what I mean? So it was a lot of issues, man. Even defensive, uh, a defensive edge rusher. You got yes. old Graham when you trying to play all this money. You got your boy Wayne, man, of uh, extra uh, uh, ankle flexion bull who get there every now and then. What's his name? Uh, uh, Graham Barnett. Graham yeah, Barnett. Barnett. I can't yeah. stand that, dude. Like, like, you got uh, – come on, man. So, what? Uh, Howie – this is uh, – Wayne, maybe it's your time to, to address Howie because Howie, he, he – All right, so listen, listen, listen real, real quick. quick before, real, real quick, you talking about the offensive lineman. They got the boy Jamon Brown. Nate Herbrig, uh, Opera, all these dudes that they got. These dudes is 27, 22, 24, 25. They're all right. projects. Prior They're 25. all projects. But, but, the, but you said all they got is all these old dudes. They not old. They no, just but you, not good. You, you, you pick up good offensive linemen in the first and second round. These dudes is all projects. The, dude, the one dude they got was a uh, – was uh, was, uh, what was he playing? Who? He was a professional rugby player. They trying to make offensive line. They're like, come on, man. Stop. I agree. Grab, right. grab somebody. And, and, and this is my point right here. This is another point right here. You got everybody you screaming for Hurts. Everybody, everybody screaming for Jalen Hurts, right? Everybody screaming for Jalen Hurts. I'm How do you know he's going to be good? I, I'm, I'm going to take Howie's track record of drafting and say he's not going to be good rather than he's going to be good. Howie drafted Wentz. No, that was a Doug decision. Doug How went down there and work went out. Who was Doug the Peterson manager? went down there and work went out. Who was the general manager? That was the Doug decision. Who was the general manager and who was the one that traded our draft picks to move up to get him? That one? was a Doug decision. So so all right. So then so none of, none of the other players the Eagles got was Doug decision. No, that one was that one was that's yes. the only one that was Doug decision. How do you yep. know that? Remember he remember he called Andy Reid and, and Andy Reid said if you got a chance to take your quarterback, take your quarterback. That was a Doug decision. So Doug just said, I'm coming in here. I'm landing on the table. Bang. This is who I'm taking. Yeah, that's what I want. That was his first year. That might probably oh, was his deal. Oh, his first year, and he came and he had all that power. His that first was probably his deal. That was probably his deal. Uh, first year head Yet coach. Yeah, he wasn't able to hire his own defensive coordinator. But he wasn't able to hire. He didn't even hire his own defensive coordinator, but he hired. He, he got everybody else. <laughs> that don't make no sense. <laughs> but first of all, y'all act like a number one. When you draft them one and two, those are and you drafting a quarterback. They really, I mean, you kind of a no brainer. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of a no brainer. You can't go wrong with that. I'm not going to get him all this credit for drafting wins. When you start drafting in the second and third round, that's when we've been historically terrible. So, like you, you said, I'm not. I'm not we've, been saying, we've been terrible in the first round too. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying 
Hurts is going to be trash, but I'm not saying he's going to be good. I, I don't know. I got to see him play. I, I didn't watch him in college. So I don't, there's some college boys I know. My man Caleb, shout out to Caleb. He think he's going to be the real deal. He okay. watches college football a little bit. So, I mean, it's a did couple of Did you watch college watch. football when Wentz came in? What you say? When Wentz came in, did you watch college football? No, I actually, but I did actually go back and I watched a lot of Wentz highlights and video updates. Okay, shut up unless you want to go back and watch Hurts highlights. Uh, like, I'm, I'm, I'm I mean, until Hurts starts starting, then I'm gonna watch and kind of dissect. But no, I'm not. The, I'm not ready to bench Wentz for Hurts yet. I'm not. Ready I am. To I, I, I don't think. You and do I think yet. they should. I think the season. Um, it, this is a perfect opportunity. Uh, it's not a perfect opportunity. It's a dumb opportunity. But it, it real, real rap right, though. You, you, if you like Hurts for real, for real, you doing a, a disservice putting them in the yep. line. You putting and, him in. I, and the Eagles team came out in support of Carson Wentz. So. Cause they know they're stinking it up. They know the receivers is trash. They, I mean, they actually did block good the last few games. But who 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 was Hurts throwing to this week? If you put Hurts in the lineup, who is he throwing to? You gonna run? Hurt. Listen, as a, I'm telling you, I've seen. Re- he's gonna, he's gonna run and get hurt like RG three. And then you know? the next you know? I've seen Tom that's Brady that's throw the trash for years. Tom, Tom Brady throw the trash. Time. Stop. Tom, Which trash he throw to? RG3? Tom Brady threw the trash for years. Name the trash Tom Brady threw to. Plenty of them. I mean, I, I don't even remember the names. They were that bad. Let, let, let me, let me, let me, let me get he rid did. of it. No, he did throw to, but um, no, they wasn't trash. See, let me give. They, they had Troy Brown. Troy Brown. They had a dude Troy that was, was not trash. They had Troy a dude that was playing corner corner a, a converted cornerback. A converted cornerback was his wide receiver. Greg Ward is converted cornerback. He's a cornerback. 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 Yeah, Greg Ward is a quarterback. Yeah, but at least, he, at least he was an offensive player. But, but my thing is, first of all, that's no, – that, 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 y'all, y'all, y'all try to talk about these boys like they trash. To me, if a dude could play both positions, he an athlete. Back in my day, when a bull could play go from corner to wide receiver and ball, you an athlete. So you got, you saying the dude is just trash now? Because he could play – just because he could play a corner? How many, how many catches did he have? Who, Troy Brown? Yeah. I'm not sure, but I mean – he was balling. Uh, what, what was his catching stats then? Uh, that's another thing. Y'all act like Tom Brady. Well, no, one year he had 83 catches. He had 101 okay. catches. He had 97 catches. For a he Brown? trashed, though. He trashed? That That's was because man. he had a yeah, good yeah. quarterback. Make sure you, no. make sure you, you yeah. check. You, 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 you uh, stat check before you open your had Givens? I think he had another receiver name. What was his name? Givens? What was his name? It was something like that. I can't remember his name. But if you got to remember, too, at that time, it wasn't like Tom Brady was winning necessarily passing. Their defense was good. Uh, when, Tom Brady, when Tom Brady really started putting up numbers and winning based off of his numbers, they started getting better receivers in there. They started getting, That's when Randy Moss came through. They got the bull, uh, uh, the tight end dude and all that kind of – they started getting better weapons to put around him. But, I mean, listen, first of all, let's not compare. Even with that being said, Tom Brady didn't have the greatest of weapons. But Tom Brady's one of the most accurate quarterbacks in the history of the game. Let's not start comparing Tom Brady. That's like comparing – uh, uh, D Wade or, or somehow to Jordan or like or or, or no, you, to I Jordan. agree with you. Tom I mean, Brady is very accurate, and, and Wentz is not accurate. I mean, but how many how yeah, many quarterbacks boy. how many quarterbacks is accurate as Tom Brady I, yeah. I, outside of outside of the top five in the league? How many you can really say is accurate, Tom Brady? Would you you gonna go on record to say Jalen Hurts is just as accurate as Tom Brady too? Probably. Okay, there we go. Exactly <laughs> my point. That's why ne- no, nothing else you said is gonna even matter. Listen, well, all I want to know bad. is. When y'all gonna get your jersey? Because y'all gonna be <laughs> y'all gonna be riding. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna say this though: you have a better chance of winning with wins than you do with Jalen. Houseway. I don't, I don't know that for a fact. Houseway. You know, you, so, so last gamble. year Hurts is a bigger gamble than Wentz. What you mean you ain't know what? From you ain't know that. Then he didn't take. Then Wentz doesn't have see, a. Hold on. He doesn't have a winning see, record. Did you see Wentz put the team on his back last year? Wentz does not have a winning record. Hold on, period. I asked a question: Did or did not Wentz put the team on his back last I year? I haven't seen no. Hurts get a chance to do anything. No. So you said what, no. What's Hurts' what's hurt, what's, what's hurt record in the NFL? No, that's what I said. I no. I'm talking to Tim. I'm talking to Tim. Okay. What, what's Hurts' record in the NFL? Five hundred. Okay. Exactly. No, that's why I'm saying. I, I'm saying I can't necessarily <laughs> so say that it would be. I, uh, I, I don't know that it'll be better with Wentz than Hurt. The way Wentz is playing right now, I don't know. I don't know what Hurts could do, but but I do think that I, I do think that Wentz is a safer choice right now because you've I seen you that. have seen Wentz do some stuff 
you've seen Wentz be uh, productive in the NFL. Like you Carson Wentz is like a one-hit wonder. He's like a one-hit wonder. He had that I'm one song, one and they, everybody two, bring him out to play that song. He had two oh, come years to our cookout to sing the song. He, he did one thing. He had two years where his QB rating was over 100 and one where it was 93. And this so, year it's dead last in the yeah, national but, football. But that's you not a one-hit last. wonder, though. You, you, you that's not a one-hit wonder. That's somebody that has some hits and then has a dead record. That's not a one-hit wonder. He don't hey. got no hits? To, to me, you can't keep – you. the organization right now is failing Carson Wentz to me. They you are. can't keep running your quarterback out. Hold on. All right, let me ask this, Tim. I asked you before. Is the – let let's look at let's look at your quarterback. Is the organization failing Dak or is Dak failing the organization? Dak guy has he, he got the owner. Answer the question. The, the um, let me answer it. It's like, one and two like, right now. By the sound way. like y'all doing a, Listen, a presidential. Tell debate. me, tell me who got the most pressure. <laughs> tell me who got the who got the most pressure. Dak brother died this year. He got his owner chewing him out. Or you got Carson Wentz. Ooh, they drafted another quarterback behind me. Woo, I'm scared. So then, what? What Try was that excuse rumor. last year? What was his excuse last year? Last year, coaching. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the excuse this year that they won two? Which is a, I mean, it's still early. It's still early. Oh, now it's but, early. But, now, now it's early. <laughs> it's still early. It's not still early, right? Okay, it's still early now. It's but still early. Dad, but it, it should be zero and three. Okay. But they're not. That's the thing. They one and two, and we not whereas... on three either. And we not on three. We should be. Carson, <laughs> <don't>... <laughs> no, we shouldn't be because we should have won the first game at least. Yeah. So we Carson. should be in Atlanta. And Atlanta didn't should be get that game to Dallas. Come on, man, stop. They gave that game. Dallas should be on three, but that's cool. We go. We gonna see where it ended with the rest of the, at the end of the year. So I keep them. Go ahead. Go ahead. So the ball. Um. I mean, since we're talking about quarterbacks and everything. Um, Nick Foles, he's the new starter of the Chicago Bears. Mm -hmm. Should we have kept Nick Foles no. and no. got rid of no. because Carson no. was clearly okay? So, what no, what has Carson talk Wentz about a, done? Talk about a one wait, no, hold, hold, hold. wait, 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 no, wait, wait, let's answer this question. What, what's your question? What has Carson Wentz done since without? Since um since but before Foles you finish, you get it out. You what, uh, what what has Nick Foles done since he left the Eagles? I can Except for ride the bench and get I, benched behind some whack quarterbacks. I think he's a system quarterback, and I think in the right system, he can flourish. You you and, might be able to say that about any quarterback. Exactly. No, but I, but I can say that about Nick Foles. In the right system, he will flourish. I'm gonna say this about whereas Nick Foles, and I'm Carson and, Wentz. I don't I don't know. So so when Carson Wentz was in the right system and he was balling, he wasn't flourishing. You can. He had a, a he had a few games that he played well. You can in say 2017. You talking about Nick Foles is not a 16 game quarterback. You can say that positively. No, I can't. Nick you Foles can. won't start the rest of the season. I'll tell you that now for guarantee. I mean, he won't start the rest of the season. They're going to be playing musical quarterbacks back then. No, I, I mean, listen, Nick Foles is that bull. And uh, anybody that he was undefeated before Nick Foles even went back there. So, But you know how it's a win, but then you got a real quarterback out there. Like, what's the bull name that, that won all them games for Denver and he was trash? What was that quarterback? Tim Tebow? Yeah, Tim Tebow. Everybody knew Tim Tebow was no real good quarterback, but he had a lot of wins underneath his belt. That that's kind of sort of that's Trubinsky. But to no, me, no, that's more like Nick Foles. Yeah, to me, or Carson Nick, Wentz. You no, know, to me, you you for your argument for Nick Foles is trash compared to your hate on Carson because you're trying to say, well, Carson only had a couple good games in in, in 2017, the year I think it was 2017, 2016, the year won the Super Bowl. With 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 couple good games. That Nick Foles had outside of that little run that he had. That, that was it. He had a couple good games then, and then he had a couple good games. The following years. year. The following yeah. year. Yeah, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Stop. No, I'm talking about the leaders, the leaders into the playoffs. He played a couple good games. Once he got to the playoffs, the playoff game he had was subpar, both of them. No. We barely beat the Bears. And then he had he had a whack game really against the Saints. And he just had one opportunity to try to win it at the end when Alshon dropped it. But for the most part, he put us in a hole in that game in the first place. I think he had like two picks that game. No, so, be, he was balling the beginning of the game. Then he threw that interception and kind of turned the whole, um, yeah, the whole, the, sort of like how West did that first game against yeah, the Redskins. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was exactly. So do you blame him for that? 
And Foles do the same thing. That's my point. So why you got so much trust in Foles then? Um, he got this ring called Super Bowl. Okay. And he, <laughs> had, he man, stop. He was Nick Foles wouldn't even made it to the playoffs with that team. You first of all, let's let's get it right because I went to that. I went to the game when they played the Raiders, and where Nick Foles stunk. Every stunk every up. every quarterback have a dud game. No, no, no. So he every stunk year. up a few of them games. At least at least every quarterback the has a bad game playoffs. at least once or twice the, I think he the year. Up the Giants game too, if I'm not mistaken. And the Atlanta game, the first game in Atlanta playoffs was a subpar game. It was a it was an okay game that the defense had to win for us at the end. So stop with all this, y'all. Nick Foles, Vernon, Lil Vernon, Vernon Brown, uh, uh, Will Crab. Stop with all. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hey, Tim, before you get too hyped about Nick dropping. Foles, keep before, dropping. You, before dropping. you get too hyped up about Nick Foles uh, in, in Chicago, uh, he did that against the Falcons. The Falcons is the same team that gave up 38 to the Seahawks Don't and matter. 40 to the Cowboys. You got to play – the only competitive trash. team is in wait front of you. He, okay, wait till you play Green Bay and see him get carted off. <laughs> <laughs> I just hate it. That's just hate. But, I mean, no, but listen, listen like, stop Nick Foles. It's, it's all these Nick Foles loyalists. Like, these, this is like this cult, this small little cult following for Nick Foles. Stop it. It this is. is it is. He, he, you about he, to say something, Ethan? He's not that good. He won us a championship. Thank you. Thank you and good night. All right, Ethan. I see your hand. You, you got your service. <laughs> 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 who is Carson Wentz throwing to this week? Do y'all know who he's throwing to in practice? Me. Right. Me. Hey, Wentz. Yeah. No, no, no. I met the boy. He worked at uh, Save a Lot last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if he was on a practice squad. I just had his name up. I, I, I lost it. <laughs> Listen, his as long as is, the quarterback gets the ball where he needs to get to, it's okay. Hold on. I, you said I can say something. Now you – can right, I say ahead. something? Go ahead. Carson Wentz. Um, yeah, you know how I feel. I'm going to cut you off every time just because you always <laughs> like – Carson Wentz had three practice squad receivers that he was throwing to in practice. Don't matter. Practice squad, they become – the practice squad receivers No, but hold on. It's starters. all about that's, timing. That's, it's – this is what I'm talking about. It's all about timing with your receivers. Then when he comes to the game and he's missing dudes, y'all say he's garbage. He never got to practice whoa, 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 with these whoa, 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 whoa. dudes. Nick Foles. Uh, all right. This, I, get, I get what you're talking about for this week. He's right. But the first week of the season, he did, he had he had Deshaun Jackson. Yep. He had not, no, no. Remember Deshaun Jackson played limited snaps because they were trying well, to save Deshaun him? Deshaun Jackson was there. That wasn't, that wasn't Deshaun. Wait, so he limited snaps. Did he throw it to Deshaun, or was he just throwing it to Earth? Miles Sanders didn't play either the first game. And, and, uh huh. Okay, but that's not. And they we ran not, the ball like eleven you, times. You were talking about receivers. Now don't. Now all of a sudden, don't Joe Miles Sanders up. And don't y'all Joe Miles Sanders up now. I'm not Joe Miles Sanders. I'm a Sandy. Remember Deshaun? Remember Deshaun released a text saying I'm not hurt. I, I, yeah. I was uh -huh. That was premature. I, I also, I also remember Rieger being wide open <laughs> and, and, and him missing him. You that think? was real I, premature. So, so, I remember that. Huh? I remember Rieger getting wide open and, and, and being open down the field, for, and he missed. You, but you, but this he, 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 he did hit him that game, though, right? Don't you? Yep, he did. He okay. did. But, but he didn't lead him enough for him to get a touchdown. He do it down there where he could get it, though. That's so, why Rieger is hurt so because is, so of this, him. Only thing I'm saying, I agree with y'all this week. The receiver core is trash and decimated by injuries. But the first week of the season, I don't want to hear that. He was just all, he's just been off this year. That's yeah. all. I mean, he had a little off. But he, even at the what the red, no, even more than a little bit off. I, I don't know if you said no, but I, like Ethan said, I think. I mean, my still opinion on it on it is it's a combination of events. I still think the receivers that he playing with the time and ain't there. The, the two picks that he threw, the picks they, the one pick they threw in the Washington game was to the dude high tower. The pick that he threw in the Rams game, we already talked about that was to uh to y'all boy JJ Fish. But even in the Rams game, he was 60 completion percent. So it wasn't like he was throwing all these errant passes, like he was 40-something percent, 50 something percent. He was 60 completion percentage, which is a still solid completion percentage. But he mentioned, and everybody, and the team Two mentioned. picks per game. The team mentioned, the other pick in the Rams game, the, the one late in the game was kind of a, I mean, whatever, it's garbage time. But whatever, it's two picks a game. Yeah, if you'd have got a touchdown, you'd have been, you wouldn't have took the touchdown at all. That was just a touchdown, Stop. but that don't mean that. Don't mean that. Hey, Listen. Tim, remember that, remember that when we talk about that. All right, that. here's my question to y'all, though. Antonio Brown, he's out there. He got to serve those eight games. Should we go after him for a receiver? We need right. help. We got to see where we at after eight games. Are we still in it? Uh, listen. The Eagles my, not going to do it. I'm it, always going to be on the side of taking talent. <laughs> I am too, but Antonio, until I see his uh, his psych evaluation, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not messing with him. 
Listen, people, I'm taking a talent. You gonna come? You gonna do something stupid? Oh, I want my helmet. It ain't the right cleats. They're not authorized. Next thing you gonna pay him five million dollars? Nah. Me, meanwhile, we got. Well, I was you saying about what you gonna pay him. Who's to say you gonna have to pay him that amount? Because if it's not a whole lot of interest in them, you might not have I to pay that I was signed Terrell Owens before I signed Antonio Brown right now. Why? Hey, hey Tim, just to, just just for the record, Tim, the Bears gonna get mopped this week. Watch. Hey, Tim, gonna, put the picks Nick, up. Nick Foles, Nick Foles got to go right, up against. Nick Foles got to go up against the Colts. The Colts ain't giving up nothing on defense, right? Oh, now. and that his old coach, he know everything about Nick. No, watch Nick Foles get exposed. But you know what, hey, Tim, real quick. All right, I don't need to pick, but real quick, um, I, I'm a, I'm a huge Antonio Brown fan. If Antonio Brown was in the league, I think he's the one or two best receiver in football, bar none. And that's I, why we should get him. I feel that's right, but I just feel I don't I don't know about this dude mental. I don't know if he's in the right mental space to even be to even play. Like I, I just don't know about it. He 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 the type dude flake on you for no reason. I, I don't trust him. I just don't. All right, so we're gonna do our week four NFL picks. Last week, I will say that Wayne and Ethan had a winning record. Me and Ethan not so much. I did, but, did not did I not pick Kansas City? Did I pick Baltimore? Yeah, you picked Baltimore. Uh, no, nah, I didn't. You mm -mm. you picked Baltimore. Yeah, y'all was all hype. You did. We both picked Baltimore. Yep. Hold on. Why is only Tim Face on there? Y'all didn't send me pictures yet. Y'all got to send me a picture. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me drop my thing down. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. But listen, so the overall record right now, man, Ephraim still tied at 6 4, whereas the two of y'all is 4 6. So we still holding it on, holding strong, but. Y'all did do better last week, so I'll give y'all that one. Football knowledge, dog. Follow me. First Follow of all, you talking about football knowledge. That, that last week was so – that week was so flukish. Dallas blew that lead. Uh, Atlanta should have beat Dallas. Stop. You just said it yourself. You just said it yourself, so don't try to backtrack. That wasn't me. last week. Last week was Dallas-Seattle. No, I'm talking the about game. the week before. I'm talking about the week when we uh stunk that joint up with the one and four. Yeah, we hey. too. I, I agree but we never chose Dallas as one of our picks, so it don't matter. Yes, we did. Yeah, no, we didn't. Yeah, yes, yeah. it was. It was Dallas Atlanta. That was one of the picks. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it I'm was. I'm telling you, it was. It was. Yeah, it was. All right, so let's go. You went with your team. First team, first game is Cleveland at Dallas. Yeah. Going with Cleveland. Hold, hold up. Is this, is this a coincidence? Dallas is a, is a pick every week? Hmm. <laughs> Don't do yeah, why is that. Why well, I got to pick Dallas games every week? Interesting. Wayne, hold on. You... We, we, we didn't even do our Eagles picks. I got the Eagles this week. I'm telling you. It's going to be – Carson Wentz going to show out. He we, usually, show we usually give our picks at the end before we close out with the He's going to show off. I'm telling y'all, you heard it here first. All right. Dallas Eagles. I mean, Dallas Cleveland. Who you got, Wayne? I'm going to go with the Browns. All right, Ephraim. I'm going with Dallas. All right. I hate Ethan. Ethan. I hate Dallas so much. It's so hard for me. I don't care who they plan. I just it's a win win for me because if they win, I, I'm going I'm going with the Browns. Mm -hmm. I like the Browns, so they my they my sleeper team. Okay. And then I'm since gonna go I've with... seen since Dallas defense can't stop nobody, I'm going with the Browns. Okay, I'm going with Dallas. Yeah, we know. <laughs> All right, Buffalo at Las Vegas. I'm oh. going with the Bills. They've been balling. Buffalo been balling. Um, Vegas, Vegas, the Vegas is my um was my sleeper team this year, but um, they defense been looking a little suspect. Plus, he got some injuries. I'm going with Buffalo. I'm gonna go with Buffalo too. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Raiders. All right, the L.A. Chargers, Tampa Bay. That ain't even fair. Why is this even on? Pick a different team. Everybody gonna go with Tampa. Chargers stink. Yeah, they lost their starting quarterback, Tyrod out. Yeah. The punctured lung. Whatever happened with that, huh? Is he it's all right? Not, it wasn't a lot of good news. Um, you're going with Tampa? Everybody going with Tampa? I, yeah, I am. I am. Ephraim? Uh, I'm going with Tampa. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess I'll go with Tampa too. No, you ain't got to. Go, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go ahead, go with the Chargers. You, <laughs> All right, you the, that game. The yeah. Colts versus Chicago. This is Nick Foles going against his Colts. old offensive coordinator. Colts. <laughs> uh, Ephraim, 
Philip Rivers is playing suspect, man. He might. Nikki, he, you oh. going with Nikki? I'm gonna go with Nikki. Nah, man. All right. Ethan, Ethan. That was the Colts all the way. And I'm going to go with the Bears. Oh, we know. <laughs> this week, already know. All right, so our last game, New England at Kansas City. I'm going KC. I'm I, not, I don't think I'm ever going against KC this season. I was about to say the same thing. I'm thinking KC all year. <laughs> it, 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 it should be otherwise. Now, I like Cam. Cam is my MVP pick. So, I think he's going to put up points, but I don't think nobody's stop. You know what? You know what? You know the I don't think I don't think New England could put up enough points, to be honest yeah, with you. I don't either. You know what? I don't I'm either. Tip, tip. I'm gonna I'm go with the I'm gonna go with the Patriots. Okay. Belichick going he, he gonna have something ready for, that's gonna slow him down a little bit and maybe enough for Cam to put some Did, Didn't didn't Kansas City beat uh, New England in the playoffs before? Hmm. They they lost to him too. Oh, okay. Hmm. Ethan. Is, is in Kansas City like a seven point favorite this game? Nah, I don't do the spread. I'm taking the points. I'm taking Patriots in the points. <laughs> 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 You ain't getting no points. <laughs> this is a tough one. Uh, I just don't think. I don't see New England putting them enough points. But did New England, did New England just lose? No, they won. They two on one right now. They beat Seattle. They, they lost to Seattle and beat um the last game. Who was the last okay. game? They beat Miami, lost Seattle, and then the last game they played, they won. Yeah. The uh, Ra- with the Raiders, I think, right? I think yeah. the Ravens was Kansas City. No, they beat the they beat the Raiders. No, what? I Raiders. think I'm gonna go with the Patriots. I, yeah, I think Bill gonna have so, something. So basically, the Patriots ain't beat nobody good yet. They will. They will tonight on Sunday. Okay. See, my heart is with Cam. Mine too. But Casey, go ahead. go ahead, follow your heart so I can catch up with everybody, so I can pass everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna follow y'all. All y'all yeah. go ahead and pick the Patriots. So those those are the, that's what the who you pick? What, who you pick, Tim? I went with KC. Why? <laughs> heart yeah. can, follow your heart. No, nah, because th- that offense is, is sick, man. The uh, boy Eric B. Enemy. Uh, what's this I've been hearing? I, I, I heard not really that many people say it, but I heard Max Kellerman say that Patrick Mahomes is the greatest quarterback of all time. He oh, made they, 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 they are prisoners of the moment. Yeah. Uh, that, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, are, are we a All these dudes players? are prisoners of the moment. They come on TV and they and they blab this craziness. Remember how remember what they did about Damon Lillard? I agree. So, that's, the same, this, that's what I've always been saying. I always say the same thing. But was even, even in the reverse, what I was saying about Carson. I feel like that about Joker a little bit, but what I've seen, his athletic ability, he just I mean his skill set is just so superb ahead of beat. I just I just couldn't resist it. Only, I, thing I, only thing I say with that, well, see, we're talking about the basketball. The bubble, the bubble was different. The, the Bulls that bought, even with Jamal Murray, as much as he bought, it was in the bubble. So, but hold on. I, so is the NFL bubble different? Ain't no fans. NFL ain't playing in no bubble though. Yeah, but, but there's no fans. Just, ain't no but fans. they still going home to their wives. It it don't they matter. Home to they kids. The, the, it the don't fans, matter. I'm gonna tell you, if you watch the NFL, difference. you notice there's been a lot of comebacks in the NFL. Bulls still I'm, going out to the strip clubs afterwards. And in, in the NBA, they had that during lockdown. You wasn't doing none of that other stuff. I think I've seen here. more comebacks in the NFL this year than I've seen in a long time. I, I could, I, I'm, it's di- listen, without playing with fans, it's different, period. I don't, yeah, it is. I don't care which sport you win, whether it's tennis, yep. whether it's golf, whatever. It, when, when people are there watching and you can hear people, especially sports where the, where the fans is extra active, and they can scream your name and you garbage. You ain't doing this. They call your mama name and all this other stuff. Yep. Totally different than without having those fans. This You're human. Different. Yeah. Listen, I got, I got to make a comment on Wentz real quick. I know y'all not watching this Jets Broncos game, but these Jets receivers are making some <laughs> incredible catches. The dude caught the ball over the one guy's. He jumped. They was both going for the ball. He put his hands over his head. This like, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. See, when I say it, when I say it, they got to make plays. When I we say, need dudes to make plays. When I, when I say it, I'm I'm, I'm Ephraim, uh, what's the or Orlowski, Ephraim Orlowski. I'm making all these excuses. <laughs> we ain't knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making excuses. 
But everybody, it, this, the, the proof is in the pudding. I see it week after week, man. Receivers going to get the ball and bailing a quarterback out. When the last time somebody made a great catch for Wentz? Does anybody remember? The last time I seen it was Goddard did it. Yeah, last, went, but Goddard yeah. did it last year in that game in the, in the uh, going toward the playoff thing with New York. He made this great one hand jump. I saw uh, what's his name made a one hand catch this year too. Ertz, and I also saw Rieger make a great catch when Wentz got him killed by the uh, safety that came out and cleaned his clock. Which is probably here's, the, here's the reason why these players can't make great catches for him because his throws are not catchable. He's not he's throwing uncatchable balls. They either really high, they open op, oh, so, so open that, receivers. So, so that fourth down pass he threw the who threw the Zach Ertz was uncatchable. Listen, you don't do don't you don't single out one pass compared to you single hitting. out one pass that fourth down. No, it don't what make, I'm look, saying is that fourth down pass was uncatchable. All these high throws, these okay. overthrows, these uncatchable balls, all of the stuff that he's doing with these receivers. Y'all like, well, why is this receiver? They, the help him out? they can't help him out. In the Rams game, matter of fact, he threw a pass to Goddard and it was high and went right through both of Goddard's hands. Like, they got six you, interceptions. You gotta catch it. You gotta get some of the stuff you gotta catch. Like, like which McCall actually could have bell Cam out the, the Seattle game. Not bailed him out, but he could. They could have won that Seattle game. Cam threw a dart to the ball. Uh, Amendola. He jumped up, drove him right through both his hands in the end zone. It would have been a touchdown, game over. But he ain't make the catch, man. They lost the game. So I mean, this is stuff. Catch it like Carson ain't got enough touch on his passes. You know, sometimes some boys just throw it like they threw them. The pass look nice and it's a certain way, but then some boys throw it just so it feathery touches in the hand. And it's nah, like, I kind of agree with that. What's your prediction, I'm Wayne, for, for the I'm game guessing. Sunday night? <laughs> I'm guess. <laughs> Who y'all got for the game Sunday night? I already said I'm not. I, I got to say the Eagles. I see the Eagles. I think the Eagles win this game, and I think they pre- beat Baltimore. It depends on if if we run that receiving core out that we playing with in practice. There's no way we win this. Yeah, you I agree just with that. came on here talking about San San Francisco got so many injuries, so they got injuries too. And then you so, reminded me. And then you reminded you, fresh my memory, how many we had. And I said, yeah, that but they got injuries, and we got injuries, and we got the better quarterback, right? Exactly. They got we Nick. Got, they, we, got, they, we got the better quarterback, right? They don't even have their starting quarterback. They injuries is like to like the second tier cornerbacks and exact back of offensive. So their quarterback means, is so not their playing. Their quarterbacks and stuff is hurt, so that means our quarterback should be able to pick them apart. Grappolo's not even in the game. Y'all nope. act like our defense is great. Is our defense great? When did our defense become great all of a sudden? We not. But is San Fran is San Fran a great team offensively? Yeah, they defense great. They missed that starting. Uh, t- they missed that starting their wide defense. tight end. Our I offense got to face their defense. Our, and our defense. offense ain't no good. Why, why, we'll have no start wide receivers. We got Carson. They don't have no injuries on their defense. They defense. We got Carson. Nick Bo- Nick Bosa is out. Nick Bosa is no injury. Is, is Sherman out? It is. Sherman, it is. Playing? Sherman was out last game. Oh my! He didn't play last game. Is he not playing now? I don't know if he. I didn't see him on the injury report, but he didn't uh, play. That's what I'm saying. They've been just as injured as we, but they two and one, whereas we are o oh, two and one. They, they didn't get. They only was just injured just this last game they went up against. And who against they play? The Giants. They played the Giants. Who they play against? The Giants. And the Jets, right? Did they beat the Jets, I think, the first game? Yeah, some two bad teams. Yeah, so it shouldn't be no problem. The Eagles should be able to beat them, right? <laughs> no, we lose. <laughs> no, listen, you arguing against your own point. I know. That's your, that's your, that's your quarterback. <laughs> we trash. We trash. Our receivers are trash. I'm making my pick. Uh, our right, so receivers are trash. Our quarterback. We got Miles, though. We got Miles and Carson. We should be able to pull it out. Hey, your man, Miles. Like, Miles is the man. I like Miles. But Miles hurt. Miles, Miles ain't Miles is limited, too. Miles got miles oh, on him. Yo, y'all wanna y'all wanna do that Dak and Wentz comparison real quick? No, I'm good. Not really. All right, so here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they just show. Hold on, I should have I should have put the screen up. They just show Ephraim of a, a wide receiver knock the ball down so somebody wouldn't get an interception. So, listen, I know this. You talk to Wayne and Tim. That's what you got to. I know this. I'm a receiver, a very good one, mind you. So I First of all, Tim, we doing game for game. We not doing – you got to go – see, this is what you try to do. This is slick stuff you no, try to do. Yep. This is what you try to do. Yep. 
This is the stuff you try to do. Listen, don't try to change up now. No, this that's is, what it is. We're so, wait, at, so wait, so Dak had two interceptions last game because he had zero last week. Yeah, two right. interceptions and a fumble. Can we give we get Dak had I, zero last week. So, can so I introduce the part of the show that we're about to do? This is the part of the show that we do every week on our Thursday preview show. It's game for game. It's we, game for game. We take a look. Tell me it's fake news. We take a look at what, what the quarterbacks <laughs> did. The week prior. Yes, and you and got the whole year. The week prior. Go so with the prior week. You still gonna win, Tim. Let's I mean, that's that's week. true. But y'all just gotta do so. I don't have it up right now. So All right. the Eagles no. going up against a quarterback named Nick Mullins. Who the heck is Nick Mullins? <sighs> so how, who do y'all think had the better game last week between Nick Fol? I mean, between Carson Wentz and Dak Prescott. Pre- so they both had three turnovers, right? Two. I think no, Dak had a fumble. But then yeah. so did Wentz. So the Wentz the the Wentz loses fumble? It no. doesn't matter. He had a fumble. It, it matters. It, it matters. matters. It matters. It matters. All right. And, it, and and let's not forget we didn't lose last week. <laughs> but you did <laughs> but you did win. <laughs> <laughs> let's not forget that. It's a very key point. We did not lose. Dallas did. All right, who had the better game? Ephraim. As far as coming from behind, just throwing a whole lot, trying to catch up, yeah, Dak did. But that's what he been. That's what he did all last year. That's what Dak does. His team get down thirty, and he just start. You know, they start playing that prevent, and he just starts throwing the ball around, getting up garbage yards. Did the Eagles have to come from behind this week? Yeah, not that type yeah. of deficit. Not that. Not thirty points. Y'all, that boy got more excuses. No, that was different. That no, got a better game. I give it to him. That's what I say. Anybody that saw that game, they know that Dak played much. I mean, but you'd be told. Like, in all defense, Dak didn't start playing good into the fourth quarter. The first three quarters to me, he played like he played like whack. At least you could actually, at least you can actually say that in in the sentence that Dak played well. You can't even say that about Carson Wentz because he's stuck in the entire this, this game. You, hold on, this is what you. This first of all, Dak has better weapons. He's well in the fourth quarter. Dak threw a 15 yard pass and Bull took it for like 40 yards in a touchdown. Like, come on, man. Let let's like no, I said, threw, the, threw, no, he threw a bomb. He actually threw like two bombs. He threw one two bombs to the ball. What's his name? Uh Miles Ma, Ma, Miles Garrett or something. He threw oh, two, he got his wide receivers are actually playing. The star oh, wide receivers are playing. Oh, he got his whole starting wide receiver core. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, so so when, when Miles Garrett got open, he threw it and and connected with him? You mean Gallup? Oh, he was Gallup. Gallup. Well, he didn't want to say Gallup. Garrett. So, so when Gallup, so when he got open, he actually threw it to him and hit him, and, and it was a completion. Yeah, got, got, yeah. What's his name again? Gallup. Gallup. Oh, Michael Gallup. Michael Gallup. That's his name. Yeah, he got. Yeah, no, I mean he connected, but uh, he accuracy. Said, he he missed him earlier a couple times, so he connected in the fourth quarter. Wow, and they lost. So is it ain't that ain't that the money time? That's don't you want to connect in the fourth quarter? Yeah, so what do you do at money time? How do you what? end the game? Remember, Winston did that too. To win, right? How do you end the game? Because the, the off- then the offensive lineman they they blew up the middle like they. they he got away though. He the got line, away. He's the line black. struggled. Money the time. Last two possessions. It's, what are you doing, money time? <clears throat> Nothing. What, what do you say? <laughs> now all of a sudden he can't hear. <laughs> what, what you say? Damn, my, my, Carson I'm, drove down and tied the game because no. Time, so. <laughs> Tim, you should have hit the joint and you should have just froze like. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but no, nah, but seriously, um, he he has to play better too. I'm I'm gonna give um Dak got to play better, and I think he'll beat Cleveland convincingly. They both hovering around D's and F's right Cleveland, now. Cleveland's gonna mop them, the nah. floor, mop the floor with them. If he lose to Baker Mayfield, I'm done with Dak. Well, all you, you, wait, wait, you done with Dak? When was you done with that? No, I'm done with Tim having this conversation about <laughs> Dak, this, this Dak, Dak, all this Dak grab. But just, you're not done with Wentz? No, because Wentz, Wentz, all his receivers are hurt, and his offensive line is suspect. He got Ertz. And, and, and Dak got had a top two running back in the league? Hmm. Okay. He's not top two. He's oh, not, top two. not top two? I'd take Devin Cook. And who else? You'd take who? And well, Saquon. Saquon. What's his name? name? Cook. What's his name? Dalvin, Dalvin Cook. Dalvin, my fault. You don't even know his name. You talking about you gonna take him? I'll take him. Nah, and, I'm, taking, um, I'm taking. The only boy I might take over him is Nick Chubb. He, I like Chubb. He a monster. They gonna get a whole dose of him on Sunday. Now, the only boy I might take over Zeke is uh is Saquon. Saquon is out. I know. I'm just saying when he's healthy. 
<clears throat> Saquon ain't healthy enough. Would you take Derrick Henry over him? Yep. Henry a monster. Derrick Henry is a monster. Even Man, though the team ain't playing now because they got Corona. Yeah, I might take Derrick Henry. That was the that was our actual game. I I put Dallas in there, but I took it out because Pittsburgh them is out this week. I got to remember to bench my people for fantasy too. I got like three Pittsburgh. But um, but yeah, Eagles win. Well, we gonna win this week. The only my concern, one thing that I don't want to see a lot is I don't want to see shotgun on a three and the third and three. I hate that. That's that's pretty much everybody know that it's a, it's a passing play. I like I hate them being a shotgun a lot. Now they run it sometimes. You know what I, you know what I hate though. You know what's irritating me though. I'm gonna be real. The bull Doug to be a disciple of Andy Reid. Why am I not seeing a lot of Andy Reid esque type stuff? Like it, the way Andy Reid got Kansas City playing, they got people all over. Like you never know who's who gonna be open. You ain't got no talent. The Eagles. Ho ho ho. Who you throw the ball to? Who's going to be yeah, open? No, no, no. But I, I get what you're saying, and this is not me giving Doug any kind of excuses. But when – Ain't no Tyreek Hills on our team. I'm going to hate to say this. That's true. Come turn your mic off. Turn your speakers off. <laughs> but in the Super Bowl, when Nick Foles was quarterback and the Eagles kept having dudes while that offense, it was dudes getting open, and he was hitting it to the dudes that was, they was getting open. Yep. I mean, I think Doug was running that kind of system where – People was popping open, and it was. My thing is, but my thing is in that game anyway. You no, know, you're right, but I see uh, Sean McVay do the very same thing with Cooper Cup. Is Cup is he is he a beast? He like Patrick Ward level. No, uh, they pick and choose when that stuff worked for them because they got mopped some of the games too. But my thing is, they still be moved. even last game they played. I think he, they first of all, he he's faster than Ward though. Ward isn't real. Ward, Ward is more shifty. No, he's he not. He not. But I mean, at the same time, at the same time, even when we had Rieger, when Rieger was playing, even when Deshaun was playing, the offense to me just looked like drop back and throw. It wasn't a lot of misdirection. It wasn't a lot of rolling out of the quarterback. Like, I see all this happening. With uh, the Eagles did quite a bit of that. But we do no, that. We, do that the first uh, uh, we did the rollout when went through the interception of J.J. Fish. He rolled out and was sitting out there open on that wide side for about five seconds. And then he threw the interception. Yeah, no, that wasn't really a roll. I was kind of Why deep. wasn't it? He sprinted out all the way out to the left side and stood there and was standing there for, for like three seconds. And then he said, there talk. So wasn't nobody nowhere near him. No, I don't, I don't remember. I, I watched that play a couple of times. That was more of a, a deep drop. I think it was a play action deep drop. He rolled to the left. I'm talking about, a, I, I mean, did he step to the I, I got to watch the play. I don't remember. Okay. But I mean, even even if that's the one play, I mean, how many other plays you've seen that really roll out and do some misdirection where it looked like you saw the head to throw a dump to the running back and the tight end cut across the field, you throw back to the tight end? Like I ain't seeing none of this. It don't look creative to me. I've been talking Not about this because Wentz can't read it. Wentz, been, all Wentz can read is eighty six. <laughs> eighty six. Talk about this since last year. I that, think. Ephraim, I think you'll see a difference. I think you'll be able to see a difference when you see a new quarterback. You're going to realize that Doug is still that great offensive mind. It's just that the quarterback that's running his system is the – I ain't going to call Doug a great offensive mind. Well, he, you will say that he, he's he's better than what you're seeing, but you're, what you're seeing is you're seeing a below-average I mean, quarterback you know, run his offense. We won the Super Bowl. We also still have Frank Reich, so uh, I don't know. I don't know we also have better Doug. talent, too, at, we, at the skill positions. We also have yeah. better talent. I don't know how much of that was Doug. Well, so better talent than skill position. It still goes back to how we then how we ain't yep. good talent. So we stuck with we stuck with Ward, with High Tower, JJ uh, Fish, and all these other dudes. We still we stuck with them. So. All right. So which which y'all score? What do y'all think we're gonna um? What do y'all think about this game? Oh, we gonna win it. I think we win. Thirty-five 10. to fourteen. We win it. Seventeen to seventeen. All right, y'all, Ethan and Ephraim was talking at the same time. Ephraim, what's your score? Eagles win 35-3. Okay, seriously. 28-10. I can't call it. I hate wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. You can't sit up here crying when it's ain't got no weapons. Who are we going to pass to? Didn't say the Eagles going to score 35. I'm gat. I'm, it's all cat. I, I, can't, uh, I can't call it. I, I got I, the Eagles I winning. They, I think the reason they're going to win is because they're going to have turnovers. For some win. reason, remember, we had a lot of magical games against the 49ers. They're going to have to. Since this quarterback, is he a rookie? He ain't played that many games. 
So they're going I think we're going to put up 40 points. To, I think we're yeah, going to put think, up 40 points. I think they're going to pressure, get some turnovers, and we're going to win the game. We're going to win easily. And everybody's yeah, going to be back on the wins. 21-17 Eagles. I say 40. <laughs> no, I say 20. <laughs> I'll say 20, 24, 28. Hey, Tim, stop being a fake Eagles fan. You know you don't like wins, but yet you're saying you're going to score 40. Tell, tell us how you really feel. No, uh, it's going to be all, on defense, though. No, it's going to be all Miles Sanders. <laughs> it's going to be Miles. It's going to be <laughs> somebody going to score off of an interception deflection. <laughs> it's going to be all different. <laughs> so, no, but seriously, um, I think we're going to win. I think we're going to win convincingly. I don't see oh. more than 24 points. I don't. We're going to wrap this up, but before we do, the bull Kyrie came out earlier today and said it's good. Did y'all see that little statement? No, you made? should have brought that up on basketball. It don't nope. matter. We got a couple nope. minutes that we can kill. No, we don't. Time to, I'm logging off. So go ahead. What's Kyrie <laughs> so, so the bull Kyrie, he, he, don't be like that. Don't be that guy. So the bull Kyrie, they asked him. He was on a podcast. Because he's going to take a shot at LeBron. That's all that is. It wasn't really a I, shot. It, yeah, it felt it was, like a I, shot. I read it. You did not hear what, it, what the Bulls said. Okay, so Let Kyrie, I, I got it up. Kyrie, Kyrie says playing with KD is the first time he's been able to defer late in games. He said, this is the first time in my career I can look down and be like, that mother mm -hmm, can, make that shot to, can make that shot too. So can I now tell you what LeBron James had said? What did he say? He said, uh, LeBron James, on the key to his relationship with Anthony Davis, we're not jealous of one another. <laughs> Wait, say it, repeat that. I didn't hear it. LeBron said the key to his relationship with Anthony Davis is we are not jealous of one another. Ooh. We all know Kyrie was jealous <laughs> of the other Sean LeBron was getting. He was. I mean, I mean, first of all, the KD – and Kyrie even play together yet? No. no. This but this will kill me with dude. The boys ain't even laced up together yet. Yes. And, like, and he's like, yeah, he can hit the shot. Like, how do you know? You the same boys. The same boys that was hyping PG and, and Kawhi together. Exactly. Like, <laughs> like Kawhi's Kyrie even. You see, I'm telling you, I'm telling y'all now. I think Wayne, we might have talked about this in the podcast. Kyrie and KD is going to uh, destroy each other. Them boys, they go, I'm telling you, they going to rip each other apart. Them two whack jobs trying to, what? Nah. Kyrie going to snap off on Nash. I know that already. I like Kyrie. I think Kyrie. Okay. Like... Okay. Watch. Watch what happens. Yeah. Watch what happens. You start hearing all the dissension going KD on. KD going to be, KD going to be right back, right back on, on his, uh, on his, uh, <laughs> on his burner account. He ain't going to be on his burner up there again. <laughs> hey, He's going to be on his burning account like, Kyrie need to pass the ball more. I'm just yeah. saying, I'm a KD fan. <laughs> Kyrie jealous of KD. That, that, boy, that boy Kyrie is a cancer. I'm telling you that. I'm telling you, watch. It's going it's to be so hilarious. I think they're going to be hard. They're going to play. Because they, New Jersey's already a nice little squad. So them two to, together next year. And they don't even have a coach yet. You heard what Kyrie said about a coach, right? No, he what he said. He said, we don't need a coach. KD, me and KD can coach the team. They got a coach. They got Steve Nash. Well, he got confidence. I'm not mad at him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they got Nash. I said, Kyrie, I told, that's what I'm telling you. Kyrie is going to rip Steve Nash up before it's all said and done. Mm -hmm. No, because the they got the boy, Jock Vaughn. That, that's who they actually should have hired. They got him to be the little. He stayed? Yeah, he stayed. They And they paid him like a almost like a assistant head coach. This would be a nightmare. Which is another story altogether. But listen, this is um this is our program for tonight. For this week, this, this is hold on. I'm gonna just get the statement what Kyrie said. I wish I could put it up. It said Kyrie Irving doesn't see Nets as having a head coach despite recent hiring of Steve Nash. This is what Kyrie said, quote, I don't really see us having a head coach. KD could be head coach, I could be head coach some days. See this? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and you think, but what that's, is he but that's Tim's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, why Batman need a head coach. Batman can do whatever he needs to do. <laughs> he can. Watch this. When does season start? December? By yes. February. By All right, tell me. January, you know why he said that? Because they was able to win with Steve Kerr, and he's not no real head coach. He's just I, a bigger head. I can't. Who? Who? Did who Kyrie with Kerr? Steve Kerr? No, no. Did Kyrie play with Steve Kerr? But KD did. And KD played with Curry. And Kyrie ain't no Curry. Let's keep that in mind. So, yeah, they about, they about the same. 
Okay. You know what? Stop, stop it now. That's they about to say. Turn the line off. That's, that's, that's going to be an NBA conversation. Like, <laughs> this is going to be so funny. Yeah, that's why we should have did the NBA win last. Yeah, we should. <laughs> All right, so we out. We will see y'all on Sunday after the game. We'll be live after the game on Facebook. So we look forward to hearing from you. 12 o'clock at night. Okay, maybe not. (laughs) No, we're going to be live. We're going to chop it up with the family. We'll be there live after the game. We talk to y'all. We out. Later.